Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another episode of Tinkercad TV. So let's get cracking. Friends, the goal of every episode of Tinkercad TV is to entertain and inspire. Today's design is pretty sweet, so let me show you what we got. Friends, as you can see, this epic design has taken a moment to load. There it finally is. Oh my gosh. The New York City R62 or R62A subway car by Nano Ray. Nano Ray was awesome enough to give us some notes, but let's hide those for a moment as we zoom in and take a look at this sweet ride. Oh my gosh. The realism on this thing is off the charts. Are you ready for this? If we zoom in, you can actually read the labels. That is so fantastic. Check out the details all the way down the line. This is absolutely awesome. Friends, let's turn on those notes and see what Nano Ray has shared with us. All right, friends, let's start right here. This is car A in number 2400. Here is a fun fact. This is Nano Ray's favorite subway. Here you can find the fleet number and the color represents the specific yard the train belongs to. The red color, for instance, means the train belongs to the 240th Street yard. Here we note that the R62 or R62AS entered service with an old M logo in the 1980s and then around 1990 or so, it changed to the current MTA logo that we know right now. That's cool. As we look down here, we have the third rail shoe. It's for electrical purposes. And if we check right here, we've got pantograph gates, most likely for safety reasons. These are the taillights for when it's in reverse. Right here, we have the headlights for forward. And once again, door chains, probably for safety protection. This right here is the front bullet sign. And then right here, these are called anti-climbers meant to prevent the train carriers from overlapping each other in case of a severe derailment or crash. And then right here, we've got the electrical couplers. As we slide back, this is car B, which is number 2399. Nano Ray notes that there's a little mistake here. Car B does not have the pink stickers on the roof. Only car A has them, and it's probably to distinguish the difference. Car B also has a smaller cab than car A, which is in the front half of the train. Note also, car B has no route bullet sign because it's weird to have them. Car B's only job is to serve as a passenger car. As we track along the other side, let's check out these notes right here. The United States flag logo is meant to show that the train belongs to this country, despite being built in Kobe, Japan in the early 80s. That's a crazy fact. Down here we have what are called trucks or bogies. Right here we have the black door protector meant to protect passengers who were entering or leaving the train while the door closes from the sharp edges on both doors. Number two, without these door protectors, well, you know what happens. Something sharp would touch you, which is highly overrated. Friends, I'm gonna shut off those notes and just zoom in one more time. There are so many amazing details. These handles, the windows, everything down here underneath the train, the springs, the trucks. This is all just amazing. The couplers, which we saw were magnetic. Nano Ray, this is unbelievably awesome. And thank you so much for sharing. Friends, if you ever create something awesome like this cute little Detroit Lions Jeep I created and you wanna share it with me, it is so simple. Click this button, generate a link, copy that link, and then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, and TikTok. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If those options are not available to you, don't forget, you can also visit hlmodtech.com. It is my website with a page dedicated to Tinkercad, tons of amazing lessons, and then down at the bottom, the sweet built-in messaging tool. Friends, you can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to recommend the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are more than 500 members and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. 
Friends, as I wrap up this episode of Tinkercad TV, I want to say thanks again to Nano Ray. Oh my gosh, your attention to detail is astounding, and thank you so much for sharing your cool creations with us. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.